So, uh, yeah, Jeff Morrow, Structure Mode, and uh, I uh, am passionate about uh, digital design, and uh, 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 we've got uh, skills in, in doing uh, parametric modeling and optimization, which we use on uh, a number of our projects. Um, and uh, it is a fantastic tool that enables us to create curved surfaces uh, using uh, many repeating elements, all of which are just slightly different. Um, using CNC cutting and other robotic manufacturing technologies, which would otherwise be inconceivable. Um, and so therefore, it is a fantastically enabling uh, process. And for uh, this small extension, which we have done, uh, it, it's created a, a doubly curved surface uh, using flat elements uh, cut by machine. But you still need a little bit of sandpaper there to get it to fit together there, by the way. So a little bit of craft still, which is good. Uh, and, um, you know, I'm very passionate about how that um, craft and understanding materials and, and how things are actually made uh, feed into the design process. And when you're uh, specifying and, and preparing a digital model of how something actually should be manufactured by a robot, uh, you know, you, to actually understand how the material works and how it goes together is, is still crucial. So I sent my office down to a friendly fabricator to actually get involved in the manufacture of this uh, test uh, model for a pavilion that we were designing. Uh, and what we learned from that was uh, fed into our design process. And, and then we, we also sent, uh, I went down myself, by the way, uh, as well. And uh, we helped to make the, the final pavilion too, not just led by the low budget that was on the project, but it was a genuinely rewarding process that, that benefited uh, everyone in, in the making the process of making. Uh, and then uh, you know, that, that feeds into how we then detail things. There was some CNC manufacture in this, in this pavilion. Uh, and then we got uh, some uh, university students to help us build the pavilion uh, in, in their courtyard, which was um, part of the, their school week. So it became a bit of education as well. Um, and, and also it's a social event because people are getting involved with one another. They got to know one another. So it's a really uh, interactive process. So it has other tangible benefits. Uh, and uh, that actually fed into uh, our projects that we do in, in developing world um, where we use un unusual materials. And we get local people to get involved in the process. And they get to learn how to make things uh, using their freely or locally available cheaply available local materials um, in ways that they hadn't previously thought. So we're using um, cement stabilized earth bricks to uh, span over this hospital uh, in Zambia that's being finished this summer. Um, and we get 50% female um, uh, uh, local people to be on the team, which is really changing the engagement in, in the villages where uh, there's a great deal of respect and social cohesion that comes out of these projects as well. I wish we could get 50% female workforce on our UK construction site. Uh, <laughs> so this is another one we did in Cambodia, um, uh, which, which was uh, fabric formwork. But you know, this is, this is uh, digital analysis techniques feeding into uh, pragmatic methods of construction on site. Uh, and uh, you know, there's, there's also an element of um, if you uh, don't understand uh, how things uh, are uh, actually go together and how they're manufactured, it can lead to problems. For example, you know, if you, if you get something manually uh, manufactured by someone who really understands the materials, then they can spot gross errors, you know, not, not that it's ever happened to us, of course. But, uh, you know, you do a detail and something just doesn't quite look right to the person making it, it can, it will get flagged up. Whereas if you sent it to a robot, they'll just uh, fire it out and then, uh, you know, what might happen next. So, yeah, that's, that's really all I wanted to say.